Hello and welcome. Right, there's quite a few little jobs that we need to do. It is October, we have got everything in off the fields, he says so confidently. I think I am, I am sure I'm right. I am sure we did the last two fields. And we planted two as well. No, we haven't planted one. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so we've got one field that we've just planted. Um, and all these others are ready for... Now, we did say, actually, that it would be a wise thing to... Is that which needs... Just field five needs ploughing. The plough's right next door. It seems sensible to me. We can't use... Yeah, we want the big fence. I think the fit, it's not... Yeah, I would use a T-Wolf, but it can't. Uh, that might struggle. The Synchro Shift... It's not a bad one to actually... Ch oh, we've got the straw to do. Right, well, we're not wasting straw. We need straw, so let's just... Yeah, right, I'm going to say my words because we're going to start working. Yeah, but let me give a bit of an explanation before... Yeah, we do. Otherwise, it's just like goes from one time lapse to another, which this set is a little bit... That's why I'm hoping this is okay and that people are alright it's just the nature of the beast on this one we should, I say this is a, obviously a new kind of um, playthrough yeah I, I like that word it, yeah I've always said let's play it's a very old school world but there's loads of different words for the same thing it's all the same really to be honest just just a label so yeah we've got a lot grab the straw plough that field we may as well no 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 we're not going to plough that but we get stones, I suppose. Yeah, but we're only making lime. We've got loads of lime already. Don't need to. I'd sooner like just no till it. It's a lot easier. We roll it straight away as well with our uh, stupendous, which is a little bit of a shame because it means that our massive proper roller is default in a way. But there will be the odd time when it is necessary when someone else needs it. To, um, Maybe, maybe not. But if it's not, we're not getting rid of that beautiful thing. I'm, I might turn the rollers off <laughs> for one session, just so I can actually use it, because it is beautiful. It is. Um, I am right about the slurry. I think we're going to have a bit of a tidy up of things after this. We might knock that back into trailer configuration, because it's not a waste. That's what I love about the Mac Trucker sort of set. It, it's, it's a trailer, if nothing else. We had it as a trailer for a while. And then I was going to use it, I thought, yeah, but you're forever... In this let's play, we've got to set and forget and overlap as much as possible. It's there's no, you know there's no other way of looking at it. It is as simple as that. So we will do that. Um, yeah. So that means certain implements. Unfortunately, it's not worth carrying them all the way around the world. If like you know, yeah, I mean the lip planter, it has got a, still has a place. It really does. There's some things that you can still need that for. Um, the, the, all the headers we've got, all of the different kinds of headers, are all necessary. Yeah, and we bought some more. So <laughs> you talk about you've got that monster corn header, biggest in the game, which we'll be using on, as I said last session, yeah, with the other one that is actually 1500 horsepower that will manage that nicely. Whereas that's a bit of a struggling that is a very large harvester. So yeah, we will be uh, swapping things around a little bit, but yeah, there's a few things like the big slurry tank there. Which I am a bit loath to sort of do it because that's the one thing that could mean we could actually use it because you can stick it at the side of the field. Yeah, I mean I'd like to use the big one, the red one. That's that's proper big. So yeah. This one that you've got, we might, you know, we'll try. We will try. Yeah, I really don't want to get rid of it. That's why I bought it in the first place. I thought that would be useful. I can stick that on the side of the field, fill it by H2 Studios, pay for Digest 8 or Slurry. Because I want to be using ours like at, for like whatever we need to do on this one. Yeah, like that stupendous um, fertilizer plants. That's just working well. We're not doing the seeds because, uh, yeah, I looked in editing. Uh, in when I was like uh, in the menu, I went like this, like in other words to say, no, I'm not doing that on <laughs> that production. But when you're in time three, it, was, it went like that. It's sort of like you. Were, I'm like, well, that, that's they're not going to see what you meant to do with that, are they? And I thought, no, it's just one of them things. So yes, I was doing it for that reason. So then, yeah, we're focusing on animal husbandry quite a lot. We did earn nearly hundred grand off those pigs. So we need to keep an eye on that. 
yeah, I'm going to. I'm determined. I'm going to get better at this. That I'm not just going to be like, because I've usually stuck to milkers nearly always. In fact, I don't think I've ever had carcass beef. No, I don't think I have. I might have had some on a let's play. Never. I, I did White Farm. We had a few. I think I sold them or just left them there and didn't do anything with them. So yeah, you obviously you get them for cheaper, and they do obviously go up. You sell them for quite a lot of cash. So we've got to keep our eye on that. And obviously they will give birth as well. Steel has a cow wards. So it's not like you're, not, you're just not going to produce milk. And that's why. Because I usually buy cows for milk. And then obviously as I've gone into the fertiliser business on lots of Let's Because it is so lucrative really. And obviously we bumped into the production shed quite early on. Which is a fantastic mod for that. So we, we use our partners well. And I keep saying that about your partners. Um, may sometimes annoy people because it's you tend to focus on it, but I suppose it is like if you had one of the most effective businesses that made a lot of money, would you then go back to a very poor business that made very little money? Because to me, it doesn't make much business sense. I mean, the productions are there. Would do I deliberately choose a poor one just to please people? It's no business sense in that. So I apologise for those who do find a bit, oh, he's doing, doing fertiliser again. The trouble is there's lots of fertiliser plants. It's probably 50% of the productions of fertiliser plants. So it's it sort of lends itself that it's obviously quite a popular business. So, you, yeah, you're going to do it, aren't you? Especially if you've got something like the production shed, really, that is amazing. So, yeah. Apologies, but I'm not apologising as well. If you know what I mean, it's yeah, I'm not trying to be cheeky or anything. Right, so we've got to keep our eye on these because these are the ones that are going to produce. Now I was thinking about this. I was thinking well, even your little ones. If these are the more valuable ones, and you're going to sell those like a hundred of them, no, 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 because that makes the room for that, doesn't it? Because I was thinking these obviously they go up in value in time, and eventually they give birth themselves. That way you're keeping all your animals at their youngest. That's why I say there are quite a few schemes of work that farmers do, and there's there's strengths and weaknesses in every type of scheme, whether you sell the little ones or you sell the big ones or whatever. A lot sell the little ones, but they are pretty pretty much useless if a farmer's going to try to do the best model you're going to sell them at the best possible price. So, I mean, they're going up nicely now, those 100. But when they give birth, which is in about three or four months, then they will fill that, and at that point you'll sell them. Yeah, well, as soon as they're given birth, they're worth their best, and you'll sell those, and they will then be coming up to be at an age when they're out of puberty and facing, I mean, there's going to be a few months, there is always that few months where the sheds are empty. And on this Let's Play, this particular uh, one, obviously we're leaving at some point. So there's going to come a certain point where I hope this works out well. Because on a normal Let's Play, you'd obviously be there and you would do this properly. So I am. it is true though. I do wonder whether uh, we'll grab a hundred of the cows and take them to the next let's play. It just seems sensible, although no. We won't because we're going to play realistically. It would be useful because we know I can do that because I'm just swizzing in an XML which will take those inside the um, yeah the vehicles, although the vehicles, they're animals, those animals will be in the vehicles and what is in the vehicles goes with you. So we could do that, but let's be honest realistically this could never happen as in like we're really ferrying a mass of equipment across the world which you just couldn't do well you could but it cost you an absolute fortune I mean I suppose we are making a fortune though so if you were doing that you, this this is like a, a thing of fantasy let's be honest now, so I suppose yeah really as it is a thing of fantasy you could really lease three, three other lorries and take 96 cows with you really to the next let's play the only thing we can't do is use the same enclosures we've just said that so, um, I'm just trying to yeah because it's, it's getting approaching the end of this particular of Russia I was thinking what what did we start this on because we sort of took over the original farm uh, but then the first field we bought was actually grain 
So next one is going to be a grass start uh, or a, a forage type start where you do corn for yeah not not a normal crop type is is the way we've sort of done it with you know going between the two so you can't do a grass start every single time because it's yeah it's just the same old same old right so we need you yeah, so we've got quite a few jobs to do uh, straw off then we're going to rip that field with that massive plow which that is going to produce stone so we'll grab the stone off as well um, so first thing we need to do is the straw we've also got the milk in from last time we also need the anderson which is where there oh no that's a square one right, okay okay Let, let's use our that's such a clever tool that is so amazing bale loaders anderson where are you please show me on the map with that green bean oh, like, oh it is over there right i'm gonna say my words i'm gonna see you guys and gals on the other side
through till the morning. We're going to feed the animals next time. It will be 9 o'clock. So hopefully... Over now. now the farmer Jebs is a monster. It is. I'd make no apologies for it. It's a beast, which is why it's one of my favourite things. It also almost lost us on almost all ingredients, but believably so. Again, past generations used to feed pigs with pig swill, which is pretty much whatever. Which is really the premise that these uh, beautiful things are going on. That the waste products are being given to feed to pig swill for for like pigs and based upon waste brilliant idea because it's true <laughs> but now obviously because someone's making money off the feed you're not allowed to do that anymore yeah because they're not making any profit off of it so right so i didn't say selling did i on the bread right, so we got 33 tons in the sugar but is now working the flour of oats wow this is what i'm saying it's done it already Let's just check yeah it has so that could be switched off sorghum can be switched off there's only the wheat, which was, um, how much wheat? Oh, it nearly did that as well. Yeah, 40 odd tons. It did 40 tons. There's two tons left. So I would imagine the flour. There's 25 tons of pig food. There obviously 88 tons of, which is already distributed. That Oh, we didn't distribute that. My bad. Chaff, we could distribute that, I suppose. We could distribute it to the Omatana. The farm, yes, cool. I'm doing it again. Farm supply production, that one there. How much water have we filled with a little tiny? Oh, not bad. So we did a couple of loads, I know, but we did most a lot of that with the little tiny. Um, see, Martin Massey it did a lot of work. I know it's not just the Massey, but yeah, it did. So this, it wants the milk. Oh, of course, no, we've already done the dairy, but we didn't stick any in. Yeah, we will do that cows let's have a look yeah they're doing well milk is up to 15 tons again limousines yeah they're taking the food down a little bit straw a little bit i would imagine these two could probably last another full day yeah get the slurry and the manure from these which there should be a reasonable amount uh it's a shame you can't see that anymore like that it's weird isn't it between the iterations of fs some things are better and some things are worse You'd think it would be better all around. Wow, 38 tons of slurry. Brilliant. Look, money, I haven't looked. Yeah, reasonable. Reasonable. Obviously, we didn't sell the bread in that because we didn't. I didn't complete the uh, recipes properly because I was in too much of a rush. But we've done a lot of prep, an awful lot of prep for next year. Really, we have. That's ready, that's ready, that's ready, that's already planted. So we just need to hit those and fertilise them, and they're done. So, again, although it's taken a long time, again, overlap. We've done the overlap, we've done all of that. We're doing all right, really. Yeah, so, um, I, yeah, the milk, we'll get that in that dairy today, because there's, there's still the, re the rest in that one to stick back in here. So we should be fine. So 1.3 million up to the really we don't need to feed the animals you will obviously see one of the biggest things we did do was grabbing actually i'm not sure how much it was i did do it right i, w I thought i'd uh, done it counted right but i was th i was thinking oh i did it right but yeah now we'll, we'll just release i'm sure that no one's going to class that as work yeah so we've got 120 tons i know we're not going to use it but to be honest i thought we'll just get it over and done with and then just sit in that trailer and we'll just keep putting it into the pig food. We might have some left as well for next. Um, we can't use that enclosure, but we can still go into pigs. Yeah, it's nice to show other enclosures as well. So, yes, anyway, all that remains to be said from this monster session. Thank you very much for watching. I truly do hope you're going to stick with me on this journey. And, uh, yeah, one other thing, as I say, there's still voting. The link is in the description. Uh, for jot form if you would like to um, influence where we go to in south america north america and australia those three votes are still there or otherwise me and chad are going to win <laughs> no it's it is it, i'm not bothered I, I'd, I'd like it because i'd just like to leave it open so i thought people might like it to, to actually uh, have their say because everyone's got their favorite maps so 
but yeah, it's not a monster amount of votes. So if there's two or three people with the same vote, to be honest, your map's going to be shown in those sort of places. So it's it's one of those things. But yes, with no further ado, I'm going to say goodbye for now. <laughs>